What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and today guys got a little market action as per usual and um, today guys we do have market overview. It's going to be going over like what to sell, what to not sell. Today is Sunday. There has been content release since Wednesday so that's good news for all of us. Market should be high and as per usual guys drop 20,000 in the comments like the vid and sub if you are new for a chance at winning 20,000 MT. Only way you have to qualify is pretty much just like the vid. Let's get this video to 80 likes, 80 likes on the video, and uh, just comment. That's how you qualify. Some people are asking, how do you qualify? Just comment, ask me a random question or whatever you want. You can do whatever you want in the comments. That's the only way. You can drop any comment you want, and you'll qualify. And guys, as you know, we hit 2,000 subs. Thank you so much. We literally gained like 150 subs in two days. So thank you guys for that. Hopefully, we can keep it coming, keep growing the channel. The 2K community has been popping. Thank you all so much. You've been loving the MT videos. And uh, further ado, let's get into it. Um, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. It is Sunday. No content is out. So, I mean, there's content out, but it's not new content. So let's get into it. Let's see how the market is running. We got Amethyst NBA 20 to look at. A lot of people did snipe them. And uh, let's check it out. So we got Harden rocking around. Wow. So <laughs> the market is super super high like dumb high so these are my predictions right now so we're probably gonna have moments of the week tomorrow we have the market at its highest it's been in literally months because this is what happened the market crashed so hard so everything else pretty much rose once the market was done crashing um kept rising kept rising and this is probably the last day you have a chance you have to you have to sell your cards before new moments of the week drops because once those drops, Amethyst NBA 20s drop, uh, pretty much <clears throat> all current day cards drop a ton. So if you did get any Amethyst NBA 20 cards, make sure to go on the auction and sell them ASAP because you got to make that MT quick. You don't want to wait. And uh, yeah, sell them for 20. You probably should have gotten for 15 or under. And pretty much every Amethyst in the game is going for at least 20,000 or more. Uh, not every Amethyst, every NBA 20 Amethyst. Also, a lot of people are asking me, should I sell my Carlos Boozers? I will let you know. I do have about five. I should have bought like 50, but I'm, I'm an idiot. Um, 25, I got all mine for 2,500 or less, and I'm pretty sure he's over 5K. Let's see. All right, never mind. He's like 4-ish K. 4,400, 4,800. So if you do have Carlos Boozers and you did get him for 3K or under, Let's say you'll make over about 1500 MT if you sell them for 48. I got mine for 25. I'm gonna make about 2000 MT off all of them. I only bought five, so I'm gonna make 10k. Isn't a lot if you bought like a hundred of them, which you if, if you want a hundred them for 220 2500 MT, that's 2500 MT, that's 250k MT. If you make 2k off each, you're gonna make 450,000 MT clean. So, I mean, 200,000 MT clean, and you'll have 450,000 total. So right now, that method that I told you guys about, buying Boozer, so far is really, really well. You really should do it. Um, great method. Also, some people are talking about Diamond Earl Monroe. Let's check him out. I know he did go up to at least 12K, so let's check that out. He is going to be rocking around. I got all mine for 9K or under. Let's see. He's already at 14K, so that's dubs for us. I got all mine for 9K. I have one. I have two, three, four, and I have one in my collection. So if you sell them for, let's say, 14, I got mine for nine with the reduction. You're going to make 4K off each piece. Um, I got some for 8,500. So 4K times five. We're going to make 20K off the Earl Monroe's. So for all you guys that listen to me, good job. You could wait a little longer because, uh, like I said, moments of the week really don't affect Earl Monroe. He is a diamond. He really has nothing to do with um the moments of the week so you could wait it's not a bad time to sell though you could wait maybe he goes back up to 20k but honestly i might just take my dubs now and be a little safe um but yeah so people were asking me about that also people were asking me about diamond contracts i will answer those right now uh let's see my diamond contracts they're going for around 15 they're probably going for around no they're going for around 14 13 now they're what 19 maybe oh wow so it doesn't look like they rose a little bit, a lot. I mean, there's too many people that got him, got them. So let's see the actual price of these bad boys. 16, yeah, nah, you can't really sell them. So for those people who said, um, I bought a ton of contracts, I'm actually going to buy one right here. For 
uh, like 15k. Just gotta wait it out. Wait maybe a week or two. Because don't forget, everybody did get this card. If you logged into my team, everybody did get it. The Earl Monroe was a, a ball drop. So Earl Monroe is going up faster than the Diamond Contract. So you could wait on it. Um, yeah, let's check out Mr. The, the Diamond Filter. Let's see what's going on over there. And since I have Earl Monroe in the collection, I'm going to do exclude user own cards as enabled. Uh, let's see. So right now, the market is super high. You could pretty much sell any card and get away with making MT. Um, this is definitely the best day to sell, best day of the year to sell, if not. Um, but yeah, so the diamonds, like I said, bro, the legacy cards are so expensive right now. I got my Jamal Moshburns, they did not sell for 36, they're at 35 now. Every legacy card that I told you guys to buy right now is you're going to take the biggest dub if you haven't sold them yet. That is, that was the best MT method this year. I've made way over 100,000 off the legacy cards that dropped. Guys, if you took advantage of my methods, you made literally over 100,000. If you had like 200,000 to spend, you made at least 100K. Everything went up 33% at least. We're going to make a ton of MT off the legacy set, bro. That When that happens again, let's say they drop another like legacy prime set or whatever, like a throwback, you got to buy those cards again and wait it out because, yo, they drop them for like six hours. They get spammed the first two hours. That's when you buy and then you sell. You can literally sell that night if you want to make quicker, quicker empty. But you don't even have to sell that night. You could simply wait it out and just make that empty. Like, for instance, that Earl the Pearl right here. If you got him, like if you got a ton of him for like 20k MT when it dropped, uh, you kind of took an L. That was the only car you took an L at because they, for some reason, that was so scummy by 2k. They released him in a ball drop. That was so mean for the community. But yeah. So pretty much everyone took the dubs, unless the people bought Earl Monroe for like 20k. That was the biggest L ever. They who would think they drop it in a ball drop? You know that's tough. But other than that, everything is looking smooth. Everything is looking good. Legacy cards. Let's check my Lou Hudson's. Lou Hudson was a really hot buy too. I sold all mine for 35k. I shouldn't have because he's like maybe 45k. Let's see. Uh, Lou Hudson. Wow. Yeah, he's 45k. 40, 41, 45. Let's just say 43. He's like 43k. I sold mine for 35. Kind of regret it, but all right, I sell him for 39. I don't know, but he's really expensive right now. Let's check out um, George Mike and I sold mine for 80k. There's so many cards in the game that is so expensive right now. Whoa, George Mike is at 80. Yeah, all right. So I didn't lose NT off that. He's 80k. If you guys got him, he was 50k when I got him. He sold him for 80k. That is such a profit rate. That's like 25k made. About that's like 22k made. Dude, the market was so good this week. We all took dubs. I know a lot of my comments, a lot of my subs have been talking about how much MT they made. And guys, if Moments of the Week drops tomorrow, we're having a pack opening. So get ready for that. We're going to hopefully pull a new diamond or pink diamond. That would be awesome. But uh, yeah, we got some contracts racking up. We got some boozers racking up. Uh, let me check Adrian Dantley because some people were talking about Adrian Dantley. He is out of packs. He should be at least 2,000 now, maybe even 1,800. Uh, let's see. So no, that, that's a good price. He's over fifteen hundred. He is about nineteen hundred. So he did go up another two hundred. He was at like sixteen, seventeen. He's at like nineteen. These seventeen fifties will sell. Uh, let's see. So yeah, hopefully if he gets up to two thousand, which he should, because as you can see, there's not a lot of on the auction. Any second, any day, he should go up to like two thousand, and we'll make a thousand a piece off him. So, um, not bad either. The Adrian Dantley method is going to be pretty well, pretty solid. If you bought 10, you're going to make uh, 1K off each of them clean. So, good for you guys. The, that method worked as well. It's not the biggest MT method. But, for the little low, the little budget ballers that need a little bit of MT racked up, there you go, bro. You got to like, if you bought 10 for 10K, you're going to make 20, 10K. And you're going to have 20K instead of 10K. So, the weight was worth it. Going to make 10K off that. And guys, we're going to have more MT methods tomorrow in the moments. Tomorrow we're going to have some snipe filters, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you all made that amazing amount of MT. And also, guys, my sponsorship went out of business. So forget them. Do not buy coins from my website. They went out of business. They will not be in this next video. So, yeah, I'm trying to look for a new sponsor. If you guys know any sponsors that will probably accept me with 2,000 subs, uh, let me know. Just got to 2,000 subs too, bro. We're already at 2,035 subs. Thank you guys so much. Let's keep the support going. And that's really all I got. Stay tuned for a pack opening tomorrow and a content drop. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.